Hello everyone,、uh, welcome to part two of this review. And this time, I'm finally going to get into the review of the bag.、Um, as I mentioned in part one of the video, this is the receipt. Okay, hopefully you can see it's Rivington GM Daimler. It was purchased June 2011. Hopefully you can see that, and it was 1240. Plus tax, and they just had a price increase a couple months ago. So I think right now it's twelve ninety. And I just want to mention the price、uh, for people who are interesting in this bag. I'm、uh, like mentioning the last video. I'm by no means trying to brag, but what I have, I just want to share this video with people who enjoy watching this kind of video. Okay, and、uh, I'm sorry that、um, I don't know if I mentioned the previous video. I'm trying to do it、uh, on my bed, so I'm not sure the lighting is good.、Uh, but bear with me.、Um, hopefully, I can find a better place to film these videos. So, all right, let's start with the dimension of the bag. The width of the bag is a little bit over 15, and the, the height of the bag is nine and. Five. I'll、oh, be sorry. Nine and a half inches, and the width of the bag is seven inches. Okay. And then the strap drop, which I really like about this bag, is nine and a half, maybe close to ten, which I like a lot because it's very comfortable. On the shoulder, and、um, some most of the I would say a lot of the LV bags don't have,、uh, you know, they usually have pretty short、uh, straps, like seven or eight, which I don't like. All right, so let's start on the、um, I guess the front of the bag. You can see the front is a leather tab, says Louis Vuitton Paris. Okay, and on the side it has those.、Uh, The little straps, you know, like I saw all the way to the coated canvas. If you can see, all the way attached, except for the bottom part. You can see that there's a lot of details here. Details here, like you see the leather wraps. You see the rivets.、Uh, the rivets are engraved with Louis Vuitton. This part, the square part, the square hardware does not say Louis Vuitton. I just want to point that out. And then it has two. In the front and、uh, two in the back. The back is looks looks the same as the front, except it doesn't have the leather tab. And on the side, let me just sh show this way first. You can see、um, just close. You can see it has play plating and、uh, sorry pleating, and then it has a little. Tab one side doesn't say anything, and、uh, the other side it says Louis Vuitton. I'm sorry, just sorry, just give me one second. Sorry, um, it says Louis Vuitton Paris,、uh, made in France. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah, kind of, I guess. Okay. And、um, I was very nervous when I purchased this bag,、uh, my first bag. So、uh, actually, I did not check where it was made from、uh, until I left the store.、Um, but so I was very happy that my first purchase was made in France.、Um, but in terms of my whole collection, I would say one third of them are made in France, one third are made in USA, and one third are made in Spain. So I'm very happy about it. I'm not. I don't. I don't, you know, concern too much about. I, I don't care too much about it. Okay, so let's look at the top of the bag. You can see there's a、uh, two zipper pull on each side, and then、uh, you can see it has a golden brass hardware. It says Louis Vuitton, and it also has the the leather pull part. The rivet also says Louis Vuitton. I don't, I don't think you can see it. And then the inside of the bag is. Red, just like all the other Daimler bag. Sounds, I guess it's some sort of、uh, fiber lining, fiber. I mean, microfiber lining. You can see that it's kind of 
kind of dirty here. I mean, it seems like it, it attracts dirt easily. Um, but you can use like a damp, damp uh, cloth to clean it. Um, yeah, which I need to do. I use this bag a lot. I definitely will say this is my go-to LV bag among the four bags that I have. So I use this one a lot. Um, and you can see inside just, you know, a big pit. Um, and it has one, sorry, one window pocket, just like a Speedy. Okay. And then the Deco, let me try to find the Deco. It's kind of hard to do it one hand. I mean, it does have a pretty big opening, uh, but it's still kind of hard to do one hand. So, okay, so I see the Deco. If you looking at the uh, pocket, and the Deco is on the right hand side of the weight, the bottom. I don't know if you can see. I'm sorry, it's very dark. Just bear with me for a second. You can see here it's actually a leather tab. You can see. Hopefully you can see. It's a leather tab with the deco is. So this one is actually one of the easy ones that you can find the deco, I would say. Um Okay and uh let me show you with um a uh, few items in the bag. Um, I would say it's quite structured. I mean, it sags a little bit, but you know, compared to a lot of other LV bags, this one ha does have a little bit structure. So, um, let me just put a few items in so you can see. You know, obviously, it's big enough to put. I don't have an eye pack. I have this, um, um, I guess, uh, tablet, and it's ten by seven. So let me just put that in. I usually don't carry. Um, tablet or iPad. I mean, I don't have that or computer with me, I would say, to work. Okay, and then I have the Zippy Wallet. The Zippy Wallet, so I'm going to put that in, too. Um, I have the, the small, I mean, PM Agenda. Put that in, too. Um, and I have the I have like a regular phone. I don't have iPhone or anything. I don't care. Uh, let me just put on the side. Uh, I'm just going to put in the window pocket for now. It doesn't really matter. Um, okay, and uh, I have the um, pochette, which I use for like a first aid, um, I guess, personal hygiene bag. I don't really wear makeup, so. I will do a what's in my bag um, some other time too. So, and also have this four key um, holder in the Bernese print, which I will also put it here. Um, I usually carry more stuff uh, minus the, the tablet, so, but I will do a different, uh, different, um, sorry, video at some point, so. Actually, you can see the, the iPad, um, or I would say the tablet, 10 by 7 is actually all the way down the bottom right now. It's flat all the way down, like here. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of like all the stuff I just show you. If I zip it up, um, usually I just use like one zipper pull, um, usually on one side. I, I mean, I really pull it kind of in the middle, you know. I, it's obviously it looks better in the middle, so you can see like this, but I don't really care. And then if you kind of carry these, oops, let me just do this. So you carry these, you can see it doesn't really sag much at all. So it probably it's a little bit heavy with one hand, and then try to film with the other hand, so you can see. It's quite heavy right now, I guess, with the tablet inside. Okay, uh, it really, I would say it really doesn't sag too much. And then, um, once I show you my other bags, you will probably see that um, I have kind of particular tastes in terms of what kind of bags, like big bags, I like, I like two strap shoulder bags, and I like more structured bags. Um, 
which probably is one of the reasons why I don't like Never Food GM. And then you can see the side. And then some people say that it like, it, this bag looks like, kind of like a bowling bag just because the side, but probably I guess, but you know, I, I still think this is a very beautiful bag. Either way. I mean, sorry that the pleating is kind of smooshed right now, but, uh, but it's kind of hard to do it one, with one hand. Okay, so uh, I just want to mention a few cons about the bag. Um, but bef before I do that, I just I forgot to show the bag. I mean the bottom of the back, you can see it's like a soft cam canvas, you know, doesn't have like, I don't even think you need a big shape, but like, I like very structured bag and this doesn't bother me at all. I mean, it's like a little bit, very little. And then you see there's like piping on the side all the way through, and then when I first got the bag, I was kind of worried because it doesn't have fit at the bottom. Um, but, and I, I kind of noticed that the piping is kind of indent compared to the canvas next to it. So when you like set the back down, like when you like set the back down, I don't think the piping actually touch like the surface at all. So um, I saw some of the, the bags, you can see like scratches on the piping and all that stuff, but definitely doesn't, does not show on this bag. I don't see any scratches. I've had this bag for, a little bit over a year, and I probably used like maybe five months or six months of the past year. I don't see any scratches, so I would definitely say like this kind of canvas is almost uh, indestructible. <laughs> it's very durable. Okay. But I also want to mention one of the cons, like you know, um, the straps. I guess they are pattern leather, I think, um, and then. They have this kind of traded leather um, on the Daimyo at Bean Bag. But if you look at uh, Mardi Gras and Daimyo Azul Bag, it always, they all come with uh, on traded leather. Um, and I really cannot stand uh, the on traded leather uh, because I don't like to see uh, the wear of the bag. I, um, I don't want to see be able to see the edge of the bag. I want my bag to be um, look as close as the first day I got it. So I don't think I will ever purchase any uh, monogram on uh, Dami Azul bag. That being said, I do have a couple of uh, monogram pieces, which I you know I guess I will show you that one. One of them is this um, Pershat with the entree leather, but you know I think this one is okay because I use it as like a cosmetic or you know, cosmetic bag or what you call like the personal care bag um, inside of my big bag. So it really doesn't get a lot pretty. I mean, patina, I guess. It doesn't get dark um, much. It's, it's, I have this is maybe for three months. It's still like fairly white. I mean, even if it gets dirty or darkened, I mean, I'm okay with it because it's, uh, you know, rel relative cheaper. Um, purchase uh, compared to like the back, you know, the bag bag, so I'm okay with it. Um, <clears throat> but one thing I want to mention about those, these kind of um, leather straps that you use on the Daimler um, at bean bag is that um, it gets like wrinkly a little bit, like you can see like right now like the strap is pretty soft now, like when you first get it like it's pretty stiff. But now it's like pretty soft, but you, you can see, I don't know if you can see, let me just kind of try, sorry, try to room in a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can see like the top. Uh, let me just try to show you. Yeah, like here maybe, hopefully you can see a little bit. Like it's uh, getting a little wrinkly. Um, with use. But I'm very like particular about my bag, so most people probably won't, won't notice it. I'm just quite want to mention mention to um, you know people who may be interested in buying like you know that may a bean bags. Just you know, obviously you don't have to worry about the patina or all that stuff, but you know it does get a little bit wrinkly if you can see. Okay. 
Okay. Um, it's very minor. It's very minor, but you know, like since this happened, which is probably after six months of use, maybe seven, six, seven months of use, I start seeing these wrinkles, and then. Uh, <clears throat> In some of my other Damia bean bags, it actually shows the wrinkles actually much faster. Um, so, so once I start seeing these ones, I try to be more careful with it. I mean, a little bit, not really. I don't really baby my bags. I mean, I don't abuse them, but I don't really like baby them too much. Um, <clears throat> but when I carry, I just try to be sure. I mean, I'm kind of worried that you know maybe we'll start peeling, you know, start peeling at one point, but. So far, so good. You know, I guess, you know, it's really just the normal wear, you know, there's something you can avoid. So that's just one little thing. And um, another thing is the, um, I want to show you, like, the leather straps that you see here. Like, as I mentioned, that it's mostly attached to the coated canvas, except for like the bottom part so um it kind of curled up a little bit very little bit um and you probably can see on some of the other than me it been back with this kind of pattern leather straps it does curl up a little bit even with like the entree leather you know the on the modern guy even it's the same thing so you know you can always curl it back a little bit it's not that big deal but i'm just saying that you know because you know it has like one inch size so when you walk when you set your back down or when you walk around just make sure that you know you don't like kind of you know stick something there like you know so i mean it's not like delicate or anything but just be sure that you know you don't have like you know something to stick up the bottom, so you can see there's the you know it's curves a little bit. So let me just kind of kind of curl it back a little bit. I mean it's very minor. I mean it doesn't really bother me. And then and then another thing is I want to show is um um another very small ones um just very really, again not a big deal that you can see. Hopefully you can see like the the stitches here. It's not like, you know, ripped or anything like that, but you can see it kind of became a little bit fuzzy, you would say. Like, maybe part of the stitches kind of got, like, rub, rub off. You can probably see there, I mean, a little bit, maybe, hopefully. I think the reason is because, like, when this, this part of the stitches is kind of, when you carry the back, you know, it's kind of connect to, you know, it's like a rub against the canvas all the time. You can see like this part, like there's part of the, you know, stitches kind of rub against the canvas all the time. So I guess it gets like, kind of rub off a little bit. Um, but, so I'm just calling one mention. So, I mean, obviously I'm sure they use very strong, like, strands. You know, those stitches are very nice, but I'm just saying it's kind of, you can't avoid it. You know, it's just going to show, you know, way where, you know. Since, you know, once you start using them, just saying. Yeah, they're all like very little ones, so, you know, overall, I think this is a great bag. I love it. Um, this is my go-to LV bag, and, um, you know, I haven't seen any reviews on YouTube. Um, I guess, you know, it's just not that popular, but hopefully, you know, if you look at this, you know, watch my videos and maybe you will find this bag is interesting next time you go to LV store and check it out. Um, I'm sorry, my videos are really long. I mean, I guess I'm being very chatty. <laughs> um, I'll try to like, shorten my videos next time. Um, Alright, so that's everything. So, um, until next time. Thanks. Bye.